Hello, everyone. You know who this is. It's Abby Russell. But you know who I'm not? I'm not the big boss. Do you know who is the big boss? Because I sure don't. We're going to find out in just a moment. But first, a little pre-show. Peed 75 seconds ago. So it'll be another 75 seconds before you need to go again? I have not gotten up during Metal Gear, during uh, Who's the Big Boss, since if I do, I'd put the controller down. That's true. And nothing's going on, so I tough it out. It's a tough thing to do, but I do it. I was very worried last weekend. I saw John Mulaney uh, at Radio City Music Hall, and they said beforehand that if you get up, you don't get allowed back. Like, at the artist's request, you don't get to go back to your seat. Oh, wow. Can I do that? Uh, like, here? Yeah. I mean, you're my boss. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how you this shit works. Out, Abby. <laughs> I'm the big boss. Uh, locked door for everyone. He always but was. He locked always door for was. Yes. Uh, wow. So did you? Did you? Were you square? I made it, but like, like once the even like the openers and stuff came out, I think we weren't allowed to go. Oh wow, so that's intense. If I would have known, I would have peed beforehand. That's- that's weird. That's, Plays that's will like, do that, but they usually have like an intermission or something. Yeah. Like oh, it yeah. makes sense. Like that's, very, that's that. very weird to do at a comedy show. Well, like what if you have there. to take a call or something if there's an emergency? It must have been people yeah. were like faking tickets or passing them out to their friends so that oh, way they come in like or halfway something? or something. Mm. Uh, I don't know. That's the only <laughs> thing I could think of for why they wouldn't let people leave. <laughs> Maybe oh, he was really worried about the openers being very good and then people just leaving for his show. <laughs> oh, I, I don't think so. Like they were buying tickets for him, I think. It was very good, by the way. Oh, good. One of the better. Tell me one of the jokes. Oh, okay. That, 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 that joke was great. He talked about the cop that used to come to his school and explain the dangers of people <laughs> trying to kidnap you. Wait, what? Oh, people trying yeah, to kidnap like, you? you know, kids yeah. stuff. Yeah, that type mm-hmm. of stuff. That was a big segment that was very funny. I didn't go to the show, but a, fr- a few friends of mine did, and they really liked a segment about the assembly about the assembly that you guys were disruptive in. Yes, yes. The Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I wasn't is there stuff for it. recorded? Does he have like a comedy special? He's got a couple on Netflix that are great. Oh, he's they? got one okay. called New in Town that is I don't just, really know his stuff. He's he's incredibly sharp and like he's young and has like a command of the stage and of his delivery and everything that you'd normally don't see in comics that are that young. Like okay. I think he's like 34 or 35 I but mean, he's I mean that's not that young to be like good on stage. I think there are a lot but, of comics but who he, are He has a certain like veteran feel to him that that is like someone yeah. who's been doing it for like 25 yeah, years. Yeah, he seems like a like but like 34, he probably has been doing it for yeah, like 15 years, years yeah. yeah, at the very least. Well, uh, fine. He's good. I've seen plenty <laughs> of old comedians who still don't feel like, like they are great on stage. Sure, right? but I don't know if that's an age thing. How you know old what I like mean? Eddie Murphy and Raw? That's probably mid-20s. No, he was a little older. Was that, that. was Raw really? post-SNL? Um, no, Deliri- well, no, Delirious. Uh, Raw was post SNL. Raw was the red was a, suit. Um, Delirious was the purple. Yeah, but he looked like twelve yeah. when he was in SNL. He was. That's like, true. He, he, he was the only young. thing keeping that show alive back then. <laughs> the the non Lauren years. I guess. I guess also that's a bad example because like people, there are a few like comic geniuses that people are just like they were good out of the gate. Yeah, right. So maybe, maybe Eddie Murphy is not one of the yeah. the best examples. Don Rickles. How old was Don Rickles? When he got famous? When he got good. 87. As far as I know, that dude has <laughs> been in his 80s since the 40s. Yeah. He's one of those guys that always looked old. It's like Neil Young. Yeah, Every yeah. picture, he looks like he's 60-something at least. Yeah. Yep. Or uh, um, what's his face? The, the um, Jeez, what's his name? The the jerk. Uh, Steve, Steve Martin? Martin? Yeah, Steve Martin. He's always looked the exact same. Yeah. I mean, the, the, yeah. the gray hair forever thing usually has that impact. I think mm-hmm. he uh, primarily tours with his like bluegrass band. Banjo. Yes, yeah. Banjo. Banjo crap My mom now. like loves his music. Really? Yeah. yeah whatever. whatever makes him happy. He's yeah. made his money. He doesn't I give know. a fuck. Yeah, I mean, that, that'd be a fun thing to do is get rich now for like, fuck it, this is what I do now. I play mm-hmm. the banjo. He, he's in Keep like, talking. I'm going to fix Dan's camera. He's in one of the ones, like, not meet the parents or meet... Um, the, no, the he's parent, not, not the those. The, his was uh, Father of the Bride. Father of the Bride, yeah. yeah they made a couple early of early 90s one. Okay. What was parent Parenthood and Father... Was that Paul Reiser? C. Martin was in Parenthood. Okay, so he's in Parenthood and, and Father, Father of the, the Bride. Bride. Okay, okay. Gotcha. And then uh, uh, De Niro is in Meet the Parents. Meet yes. the Fockers, Meet the Parents. Okay. Analyze this and that. Yes. Or don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> boy. What was the boxing one? Where boy it was Bobby. Like, what? It said Boy Bobby. Boy Bobby? Boy Bobby is my favorite Robert De Niro. No. <laughs> oh, boy. Bobby. I see. Yeah. I see. Does he live here? Does he live in Manhattan? Uh, he's I mean he's probably a, has property he, here. He is yeah. a New York native. I don't know that he still lives here full time. Okay. Gotcha. I sometimes like when like 
actors who have cut their teeth doing very serious dramatic stuff are just like, ah, fuck it. I don't know. He's at that point in his oh, career. He gave like, a dirty grandpa? Yeah. Fucking sure. I'll sign yeah. out of that. I don't know. I think he very explicitly said, I want to put my grandkids through college. So I'm did. taking really? the, I, So I'm taking I think these just movies. The thing is, like, how did you burn through so I guess. Well, he hasn't. But I mean, still, you know, yeah. like, like doing bad movies specifically for the purpose of giving your family money down the road. Yeah. Like, I get it. I, yeah. I wish he wasn't, but I get it. Like, Nicholson definitely hit that when he was doing, like, Adam Sandler comedies and stuff. And then he just retired. He was just like, fuck it. Now I'm he's done. just Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what was the last thing he did? Was that one? There was that About movie? Schmidt? <laughs> No, it was it's, after. There was one after that. There were a couple bucket, of like bucket list. Was he in that? Like, uh, was he in that? That's Morgan Freeman. I want to say there was like a James L. Brooks movie or something that he was in. It was good as a kid. So that was. Late there was 90s. like a later one that was also bad. Really? Oh. I mean, his guess, his guess wasn't that I bad. When did he do that one? This is probably before he started doing any other stuff. Where he's like that burnout cop who's trying to save that girl. The pledge. Oh, the pledge. Oh, the, pledge. the Sean Penn directed I think movie. Somebody said I would like that. I remember that being a really weird. It's a movie. really fucking weird movie. Really? Yeah. Departed. He was in Departed. Yes. Mid 2000s. It, it looks like the most recent movie I can see that came out that he was in is How Do You Know that came out in 2010. That's the one. Has a 5.4 rating on iTunes. That's high for that has movie. Has Reese Witherspoon, Owen Wilson, Paul Rudd, and of course Jack Nicholson. Okay. I was that was that. that James L. Brooks that made that? Yes. Okay. Uh, After okay. being cut from the USA softball team and feeling a bit past her prime, Lisa finds herself evaluating her life and in the middle of a love triangle as a corporate guy in crisis competes with her current baseball playing boo. Boo? Did you say boo? Boo. boo. She's in a love triangle. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, yes. My intonation there was a little weird, but... <laughs> It, I watched about 10 minutes of that movie on TV once, and it was maybe the blandest thing I've ever seen. Really? It was it like the movie equivalent bland. of a model home. Oh, fun. <laughs> Right. Was that one with Robert De Niro where he's like the intern that works? Oh, for like God. Oh. I think it's called The Intern. That's yeah. a movie for old people. <laughs> De Niro's The Intern? Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. like That's De Niro's the, the Intern, and then Anne Hathaway is, is like the CEO of a company, and then she's like, I don't know if I can do it. I'm going to let this old man run the company. It's Are like he doesn't. It? No, it? it's like he's her intern, but she's like, but you have to guide me. What am I doing? Yeah, he te- is it the it's intern, like such bullshit. Intern uh, teaches it's also just stupid. the boss. Yeah. About life. Why is this like seven year old man the intern? Exactly. That's the whole. Hey, that's the funny thing of it joke. is like, oh, he's trying a new career. It's see, like old people in a young person's job. See, this oh. is why you will never be a film executive because your answer to that premise is, well, why is that? Instead of saying, green light. That's a movie. Yeah. That's, okay. I get it. That's a movie. They didn't teach us that in film school. Yeah. Uh, what did they teach you in film school? I didn't go. I don't know. I all right. <laughs> A technical. Should we, should we start this three? Yeah, let's play Metal Let's right. keep going. Let's play Metal Gear. Movie talk. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, we're going to fade it to black here when the TriCaster loads right now. Goodbye.